Hello painters, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com back today for a bit of swiping fun and I'm feeling in a sparkly kind of mood. So today I'm going to work with some of my favourite paints. These are the colour shift paints and I've got three colours. This one is, oh without my glasses I can't see, this one is Purple Flash. There we go. And then I've also got this one which is Pink Flash. There we go. And this has kind of, you can see the, the colours on the top of the bottles and as you move them in the light it gives different colours and this is the interference qualities of these paints. Um, and so when you get pink flash you also kind of get yellow and orange and coral flash as well. And the same with the purple, the purple I have to say is my favourite. It gives such a, a vibrant electric blue colour, it's just wonderful. And then the third one I've got is blue flash. And this one has a kind of a blue, green, teal kind of look to it. So I've got all of my uh, flash paints mixed up. And because these are a little bit thinner than my usual recipe, I mix them a little bit differently. So I use the Floetrol as my pouring medium. And I probably put around 50% Floetrol compared to the volume of the paint. And then because these are a little bit thicker than some of the other craft paints, these also I, I add just a few drops of water also, uh, water also in order to get the right kind of pouring consistency. And I think I've got that good. And this one is the gorgeous purple, purple flash, favorite paint. And then also I'm gonna max, match them with some Mars Black for the swipe. I have um, a preference for using Mars Black for my swipes because it's just that little bit heavier and it seems to sink down through the other colours a little bit better without completely overtaking. Now when you use the um, these colour shift paints, I find if you use them with white, the white kind of tends to mute the colours and mute them a little bit. If you use them with black, it makes them even better than they look now. So I'm going to use them with a black swipe today and also I'm going to have another go at the paper towel swipe because I've only done this once before and it made lots of very, 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 very tiny cells and I thought maybe I would try that again today because before I kind of messed up, I did my swipe and then I didn't have enough room to go all the way off the edge because I had so much clutter on my thing. So I'm going to bear that in mind today and give me more space for my um, swiping. So I'm just going to layer these out pretty much in stripes. Which way am I going to swipe? Let's swipe towards me. So I'm going to lay them in stripes across the painting like this. And then we will see how it turns out. So unfortunately I can't get these um, flash these colour shift paints here on the island. So these are just ones that I brought back from a, a trip to the US when I went to a conference and they're like my special paints. You know, the, the ones that I don't want to, to use up because they're so good and I know that I can't replace them. I don't know. Do you have any paints that you kind of keep for special? Because they're like special ones, you know, they're expensive ones or they're your favourite colours or something. It defeats the object, I think, really, of when we have things that we love. Um, we choose not to use them because they're our favourites and therefore we just sit there and they kind of look at them. But it's uh, it's normal. I would be so sad when these are all gone that it stops me from using them so that they're not all gone, <laughs> which means I don't use them. And it makes no sense, but hey, that's what we're like in life, isn't it? So this is the, uh, the blue, kind of bluey green colour. Now I'm a bit short on paint, maybe for my swipe here. I've mixed a bit more so I may have to go and take a look in my stash and see what I've got mixed up because I haven't got quite enough for this canvas I think and I could try tipping it about a little and see if I tip them I could make them go a bit further and also give me some funky funky shapes there too there we go it's probably gonna be good Tip it a little bit over this way too. And then at least I can get more of this canvas covered up. These bits here will be fine and probably down at the bottom. By the time I've pulled the paint down there with my swipe, it'll probably be fine. But I don't know, should I 
fill that in a little bit what have I got maybe some gold gold why did I not think of gold before obviously I need more metallics there we go gold on hand gold saves the day I'm just gonna fill in a little bit of gold there we go just a little bit and I can put a bit down the bottom here and if it all swipes off the bottom no problem maybe I should put some at the top too there we go let's put a bit of gold there and then we can swipe the gold and the black down over these oh why didn't I think of that before everything's better with gold right so where's my swipey tool oh I'm gonna use the paper towel aren't I okay so let's get my towel ready oh I've already got a sheet ready see I've got myself flustered now so I've got my sheet and it's large enough that I can do the whole painting in one try but I need to moisten it so I've just got some water in a squeezy in a like a spray bottle so I'm just going to moisten that and leave it to sit for a little bit while I pour my black here across the top Okay, that should be plenty. More than plenty. Oh, black seems to go everywhere, doesn't it? So much more so than white paint. Okay, so here we go. Check you've got that in view. That all looks good. Let's put in that little corner there. So I'm just going to lay the paper towel so that it's only going to touch into the black paint here at the top. I want it to be very, very lightly just touching the black. And then I'm going to try and pull that over the other colours without putting the paper towel in those colours and disturbing them. So let's see how I get on. Is it wet enough? I think it's fine. Okay, so just in the black at the top. I'm going to lay it down so that it sinks a little bit into the black. And now let's drag. And this time I was able to get my drag all the way to the bottom because I didn't have stuff in the way. Oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. That is so amazing. That is so gorgeous. The colors are fabulous. I know they look great now. They're gonna look even better when this is dry because all of the sparkliness will come through from them. So I've got a little, couple of little bits up at the top where I just want to dab a little bit of black paint now where it's a little bit thin. But that is probably all I need to do. I need to get my glasses on so that I can make sure everything's covered. Where are those? Oh, I'm so excited now. Okay, just a little bit there. Oh, and the gold looks great too. I think just that little bit of gold up at the top was enough to add a bit of sparkle and interest into that black area. Just a little bit of tap in those areas to make sure everything's good. I've got a couple of little bubbles up there actually in the black. So let me get my torch on it. Ooh. That's enough. I don't want to do any more. I'm going to do up in that black area. Rid of the bubbles there and let's take a look oh my word well this is one spectacular painting you just cannot go wrong with these color shift paints you get a fabulous result every single time and mix them with black and the colors are really going to shine so i'm just going to clean up my hands and then i'll bring the camera down and we can take a closer look at some of these lovely details so here it is from my point of view and oh gorgeous 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 so up at the top we've got the black and the gold together and of course when that dries that gold's going to look really fabulous and all these other colors already they look amazing absolutely fabulous with black really really good but of course when it's dry it's going to look even more amazing and i think i made the right choice it's just a few little accents of gold here and there and a nice little section down at the bottom that looks good that blue and gold looks really great together Look how it's all dribbling down off the bottom of my swipe. I love it when it does that. And the sides look good. Yeah, look, look how it's gone over the sides. Very, very nice. Wow. Okay, so this may go to the top of the charts as one of my favourite paintings so far. And of course it's going to look even more spectacular, I'm sure, when it's dry because of all the sparkles. So hang around and I'll show you what it looks like. 
Well, here it is dry and I have to say I am so darn excited about this painting. The colours are just exceptional. You really cannot go wrong with these colour shift paints. And it's hard to pick it up sometimes in the camera and especially with the, the lights and the and the glossy finish that I've got on it. But the colours in the centre, the um, this these patches here are the blue-green and as they shift around you get the change of colour. And then the other patches here, here and here are the purple and those go like, oh look, I think they can see it, a really electric blue. So as you turn it in, oh look, the lights are so difficult. As you turn it in different directions, you get all these different colors and then it's got the gold and everything in here. This is such a gorgeous painting. So I am gonna be really sorry to let this one go, but my New Year's resolution for this year is uh, to try and do my best to sell as many paintings as I can and uh, get more money for my um, painting expenses. So this one will definitely be going in my Etsy shop, even though I'd be sorry to, to see it be go because the colors are so, so good. So if you'd like to give it a try, get yourself some of these gorgeous color shift paints. There'll be some links underneath the video or in the blog article, depending on where you're watching. And uh, give it a try with the paper towel swiping as well, because that can give some really nice results. Thanks very much again for watching. See you at acrylicpouring.com again very soon.